Hi, I am Dr. Arabia Molette, and you're watching Healthy Herd on Madame Noir. So this is the opposite spectrum of the thyroid gland. So either it's gonna be hyper or it could be hypo. Hypothyroidism means the underproduction of the thyroid hormones produced by the thyroid gland. Now, hypothyroidism is caused by various diseases as well. Um, the number one cause here in the United States is called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Anything with the ITIS-itis means inflammation, right? But it's still an autoimmune disorder in which the thyroid gland attacks itself, antibodies are formed, and it attacks itself as well. Signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism caused by Hashimoto thyroiditis or other causes, people can feel very fatigued, they can have weight gain, their skin becomes really brittle and really doughy, um, they don't really sweat as much, they become really dry, they, their hair can still break off as well. And if it's not controlled or it's not diagnosed, excuse me, diagnosed early and treated, they can actually slip into a coma. That's the extreme complication in which that's when people come to see me in the emergency department. Hashimoto thyroiditis is more common in whites in comparison to Asians and African Americans. Not to say that we, you know, there are a number of us who are not suffering from it, but the rates are lower when it, um, in comparison to whites, our rates are lower. We suffer more from hyperthyroidism than we do from hypothyroidism. Certain medications can cause hypothyroidism. If you are taking a, a antipsychotic uh, medication called lithium, that's one of them. So you, if, when a person is on lithium, all physicians, they will monitor their thyroid uh, hormones, so the levels of the thyroid hormones if they are put on that medication. Also, a antihypertensive medication called amiodarone is also one of the causes for hypothyroidism. And a number of us in the community are on that medication, so uh, many primary care doctors are closely following their thyroid panel when they're put on that medication. Even though the rates are lower for us, however, there are a number of us in the community, as far as African Americans, are taking amiodarone to control their blood pressure or if they have some type of arrhythmia. So that, that's the population that you have to, we have to monitor very closely when it comes to that medication for their, their thyroid panel.